What's up everybody, my name's Guillotine, we're back with another episode of Slate Spire. I think we're gonna go in as the silent this time. I like the idea. Just because there's more to unlock on him. And we are having more than enough trouble on the Ironclad. <laughs> as we've seen in the past couple episodes. Uh, we're still looking for an epic monster. That's two relics. Just gotta get lucky. I don't like getting lucky. Just gotta neutralize and just drag him down. Should be a pretty easy run. I don't I don't see anything going too wrong. If we have to, we'll go another poison build, but if we don't have to, I think we'll be fine. Neutralize him again, strike, block all the damage. And next turn we'll take it. Can't be that bad. Not as bad as my Iron Clan runs, that's for sure. Might be going to discard deck. Nah, I like getting Noxious Fumes at least pretty early. Make me feel a little more confident about the rest of the run if we get our poisons early. But if not, we have not beaten it with the discard deck, so we'll try that. Of course, that's when I get the extra energy to just randomly block. Oh, uh, we need 19 damage. I don't see that happening. I might see that happening. There we go. Pretty simple. Oh man, we're getting some poisons, I guess. Get some mysteries going. Okay, or more fights. Ooh, tough decision. Do we go ahead and poison the one in the back or go ahead and kill this one? Yeah, we go ahead and kill that one. Defend. and block all this damage but no if we can get to that first fireplace with this health I honestly think we can go ahead and upgrade our poison stab which will be really nice get prepared or just more discard you never know wow I'm trying to dodge fights I get in the I was hoping for my 8 block player. Because I'm not in the mood to take so much damage. Really would like not healing at that first. At the very first fireplace. And just taking the epic on and already upgrading our, our items. Take the one damage. He dies next time no matter what. But it's very unlikely that I don't draw a strike. Bouncing Flask isn't bad. We can go ahead and upgrade that too. Or over the Poison Stab. I'll lose the gold. I'm okay with losing that gold. Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade poison, uh, Bouncing Flask. This does get us to a treasure chest, so we can kill this guy pretty early. Or get Bouncing Flask pretty early, that'd be nice. Doesn't look like we're getting Bouncing Flask early. <clears throat> the reason I wanted it early is because I wanted it before he buffs himself. For the, every time he uses skill, he gets too strain. Of course I'll get it next turn. That's a little bit better than what he was gonna hit for, I guess. It's still not my favorite. Get our strength up, neutralize, poison stab. 
that's 12 more damage. Oh man. We just gotta hope this next fight's pretty easy. But that'll go ahead and kill him, so. Not too bad. Get a lantern, gain an energy at the first turn of each combat. That is perfect. Over you play a skill, blur. We'll take blur. It can come in handy at some situations. Which one are we killing first? One of these guys. Oh. Prepared, no bouncing flask. Go ahead and kill him and defend from the other guy. I forgot we get an extra energy, so that's. I think if we can get some noxious fumes going, that will be very beneficial to our future. Poison stab. We don't kill him, so we go ahead and block the damage instead. And let the poison do its work. We are going to have to rest at the next fireplace, though. This is getting kind of crazy. Do we risk it? I don't think it's much of a risk. Now it's definitely not much of a risk. Poison kills him. The guy in the back dies next turn. You weakened already anyways. Go ahead and poison stab him. Pretty, pretty basic stuff right now. Nothing too interesting. That can be interesting. But if we're going for a poison build, it's not really necessary. Bouncing flats. That's what we want to see. Oh my gosh. I know who I'm going after first. That's for sure. That kills him. Though I do take one more damage for doing that. Oh, I also become vulnerable. Oh, man. Go ahead and block some of that damage. We're getting a little risky. A little risky for, uh, for the idea of this. Because it's all based off luck now. We'll take dash. That's straight to a fireplace. Which is what we want. Mm, can't buy any relics. Flash of Steel's not bad, and neither is that. Go to the fireplace, we gotta rest. We don't really have much of a choice. We're still pretty low, so we might even end up resting at the next area. End of your turn, gain one week. We have a lot of discard cards. I don't think that'll be a problem. Also, that's enough to afford to get rid of it. No bouncing flask. So we'll go ahead and just survive her. Blocking all the damage and hopefully... It's still not bad. It's in flask. Yeah, go ahead and block. And neutralize. Believe we take him down next turn. Hopefully, no matter what, but you never know. Bouncing flash. I'll do it. Easy first floor. The Silent has such a... I don't know, I just have an easier time with him on the first floor. Second floor is a little more questionable with some of the elites that are on that floor. Not just fumes. Sadly, we have to rest. Looks like we're fighting the big glob person. We did get our noxious fumes and bouncing class, though. Go ahead and try for survivor. Didn't receive it. I need to learn to start using potions. That's for sure. I never used my potions when I could at the beginning of a combat.
don't know what he's doing, but best be best to be safe. Okay, so we have to do we have to defend that, or do we try and pull out the thirty? It's twenty-five. Be a little bit short, but I think we can get it to split. That's perfect, actually, because getting it to split is definitely where we want to be at. Getting one of these to split will also be really nice. I guess that was not the smartest of decisions, but hey, it works. We'll get this first one in front to split. Hopefully it's... yeah, okay. Get him to split. Should have probably blocked instead. And that doubt card needs to get out of here. We're not doing as much damage because of it. Hopefully? Okay. I'm gonna bounce some class and hope for good results. Not the best results. Hmm. That's right in half. Okay, that's gonna cause him to split. Perfect. And then I think we can kill both of the little ones. Or the big one next turn. Never mind, I forgot he was split. Just said it. Instantly forgot. Uh. split anymore, so it's probably best to just try and defend as much as we can. Because it's going to go ahead and kill two of them. This is where things get interesting. I think we just go ahead and block up. And I wish we got enough armor to block all of it, but we don't. In the end, I, I think this is a pretty... Pretty... Basic... End to the first boss. I, I don't think we're in any danger here. That's for sure. We'll go ahead and get this over with, though. I think I can actually just, yeah, kill him. Take our first boss. Take adrenaline. Tiny house. Mm -hmm. Cursed key. Do you want to do the start of each turn? You can no longer. Okay, yeah, tiny house is my best bet here. Hey, poison stab. Deadly poison. Uh, now the question is do I fight the epics on this floor? I believe I do, if I can get to them with enough health. Which with this guy, I never know. So we gotta take off all the artifact stuff first. Bouncing flask would've been great here. Because that armor is ridiculous. There we go. I think we get rid of doubt. Not adrenaline. Doubt. Gain one energy. Go ahead and block some of that damage. Now we just gotta poison him with poison stab. Please? No? Seems fair. best we can do. We, we've got to take the 10 damage. And either way, he dies next turn, so. And there you are, not just fumes and poison stab. Where were you last turn? Phew. 
Another explosive potion. Probably great for that epic monster, which will probably be the guy that summons minions. Go ahead, bouncing flask. Poison and more. Add a random skill. I have no clue why I did that. I guess if it was something actually worth it, it would have been good. 12 damage. Reduce that. 8 damage. Block some of it. Yep. Now as you play the waiting game. Watch the poisons tick them down. Deadly poison. I think we go with... Yeah, just block all of it. Because we are on trace to attack a... To attack that elite over there. For the doubt. Hmm. We can defend up. I don't I only got 12 damage. Hmm. I think we defend here. Go ahead and strike. Can't block all of it, but the poison alone will take him down. Uh, I don't think I'll get through that armor, so I'll just let the poison do the job. Three explosive potions. Really hoping that it's... Well, I guess I'm not hoping it's the minion guy. Um, take away doubt. Definitely want to get rid of doubt. And a combat. It's not what we wanted. Just start trying to draw, I guess. Man. Throw one of these explosive potions. That way we start to get some of the damage down. Honorable. Got some flask. Dagger throw. Let's see what our luck is. Hey, I mean it's not terrible. Just keep stacking uh Forcing me to strike all the time. I don't like that. Who are these guys? I think we dodged the epic monster. Just because this floor is not really helping us and. We're getting kind of pushed. 27 damage, damn. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a block. Oh wow, that epic monster's in our way, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think even if we survive this, that we'll survive fighting that, that epic monster. Especially because we had to use so many potions this turn. Hmm. Even with the regen potion, it doesn't seem likely. Go ahead and get the horn. And the explosive potion. I don't think we survived this. Let's see. I don't even know if we if we survived this guy. I really don't, guys. Crippling poison. Now weaken it. Fuck all of it. Might as well dagger throw. 
Oops. Man. 12 damage. No. Oh, maybe. Survive one more turn at least. Keep on healing. We need to keep weakening on him. That is for sure. 15. Oh, man. Can't afford to be taking damage, but at the same time, we can't afford to just sit here either. And every time he hits us, he puts one of those wounds in there. 16 damage. We can block some of it. Hmm. Do I settle with the 4? Or do I go with the 12? I think we dagger throw. Let's see if we can get it. Hoping for some kind of block. Because I'll barely live this. And I'm going to get so many wounds. I think his next is 20. Oops. Oh man, 20. I'll die. Yeah, I think this is this is it for this. Cause I'm gonna die by one damage. Not even, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect for him to kill me there. We did get a new one. Alright, so we unlocked Accuracy, Shivs deal 3 additional damage, that's a great Shiv build. Storm on Steel, discard your hand, add a Shiv to your hand for each card discarded, gain 6 block, add a Shiv to your hand. So we're gonna have to try a Shiv build next time, for sure. But if you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you can, add a comment to the comment section below what you think about the videos, and I hope everyone has a very nice day.